Salutation, it is me, Queen Cotalia, and this is Traditional Hoodoo Protection Charms 101, making a protection corn husk doll. Corn husk dolls are not limited to hoodoo or the African diaspora. Many cultures and ethnic groups make these dolls, but the method, the herbs, and the roots may be limited to hoodoo. Let that sit in your mind. You will need corn husk, garlic, scissors, thread, a piece of cloth if you don't have corn husk, and a bowl. Fill your bowl with water if your corn husk is dry. You're going to dampen it for about 5 to 10 minutes. While this is dampening, you will separate your garlic cloves. Your garlic is your protection spirit. This is a charm. This is not a spirit. This is not the spirit of the dead. So you don't have to feed it. This is why it's a charm and not a spirit. You are then going to take your cloth if you don't have corn husk and place the garlic inside of this cloth and tie it up. The color does not matter in hoodoo. There are no color correspondences to anything. Once your corn husk has been dampened, you are going to tie two of the pieces together and fold them over each other, creating the head of your charm. From that particular space, you are then going to take another piece of corn husk and separate it in two, cross them opposing each other, and roll them up and create the arms. You are going to slide this roll in between the two pieces that will be the body. Once you have done this, you can tie the ends of the arms. You can tie up under the arms to create the chest, the arms, and the hands. Now, our ancestors, when they were creating dolls, aesthetics wasn't all of that. It was the fact of making the doll or the charm itself. Don't get caught up in the aesthetics and make sure that you are connecting to the work. Once you have done this, you are going to load the doll in the chest, in the legs, and in the head with clothes and skin. Once you have done this, you will take your charm, rather it's the doll or the piece of cloth, the, the bag, and you will bury it in your front yard. If the garlic sprouts, you know your protection is working strong. If it doesn't sprout, it is a steady protection work. And if the charm resurfaces, you have stronger work to do. My loves, merci beaucoup. Until next time, I'll be on to.